We are about 40 miles or so south of Candlestick Point at a place that first opened back in 2014 as you get a look at Levi's Stadium here in Santa Clara, California. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. They go play action here, Purdy. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that Incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's the pro bowler, Christian McCaffrey. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And he's going to have a Niners first down as he'll take this up to the 38-yard line. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Purdy. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second and three. Play action. Now Purdy. Got a man right side. It's McCaffrey. Only able to gain a couple there. And that's going to bring up third and two. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Here's Purdy. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A nice pickup of 10 means that this drive will stay on track. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out. But his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. The throwing here, Purdy. His throw incomplete. Well, how about the challenge we're seeing here in this game early? Man coverage against some fleet receivers. That time, the defense won. Here's second and ten. Back to throw, Purdy. Tries to hit Jennings, and it's intercepted. And the Chiefs are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they are trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop the jab? get closer and smother it just as they did on that last play. Here's a second and eight. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Brown. They'll give him four yards there, and now it's third and three. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Setting up the screen to Pirine. And he's got this down to the 35. 
It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. Well, Charles, it's early, but that's a key third down conversion. Remember, they forced the turnover on the opening drive. Now they're in a position where they look like they'll at least get three out of this. A great example of complimentary football if they're able to cash this in, isn't it, partner? Because defense does this job, takes it away, turns over the offense. They just pick up a nice first down there. Maybe it's time to think about taking a shot at the end zone because it looks like the field goal is almost assured. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A very solid gain of 27. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Chiefs take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. And the QB rating right now is sky high. Four for four on that opening drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass. Yeah, I don't know quite how to figure it out. I think I need my friends from MIT to come in and help me. <laughs> but I think 158.3 is the number one. Yep, that's the right? high Right, that's mark. the highest you can get. That's where he is. He'd like to continue on that pace. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, Everyone has matchups that they like better than others where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. He'll be tackled shy of the 35. Shifty footwork gets him a little extra on the play. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Purdy looking to throw. And that's complete to McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 18 yards, first down Niners. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. Not able to go anywhere that time. Second down. But he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Birdie will set up to throw it here. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. That's George Karloftis who fought his way through the line to bury him. Karloftis does a nice job getting him down. That's something the former first-round pick did a lot of in his sophomore campaign when he recorded 10 and a half sacks on the season. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. 
And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hunt. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. As they've got it with a first and ten. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and it's second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's a second down and nine. On the counter, Hunt. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. The completion on first didn't get much, and now the run on second doesn't get a whole lot either. Well, if you're a good play caller, you've already looked ahead and anticipated this type of situation. Already down on his play sheet, trying to dial up a big third down play. Mahomes going to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Looking right side, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner, and he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. They'll start with the option. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Pretty good job there defensively of stringing that one out. Yeah, you've got a quarterback who's waiting and waiting for something to develop, and it just never materialized, and down he went behind the line of scrimmage. Now Purdy. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Purdy now to throw. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard strike. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. And his kick here is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach 
termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. Been a little bit of an interesting start. The first drive for him, Charles, they had the passing touchdown. The second drive, he threw the interception. So we'll see what this third drive of the ball game brings. Yeah, it's kind of a tiebreaker, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, that's a tough part for them and for him because, yeah, things went really well in that first one, not so well on the second one. He wants to get back to what he did to get this game going. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 23 yards, the final tally. I don't know whether I want to be a fly on the wall or not when they hear the explanation of how he, one of the bigger targets on the field, the tight end could be that wide open and uncovered downfield. Who blew that assignment? Somebody did. No doubt about it. There's no way you're not going to account for him. Over the middle complete. That's Rice. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route. Just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. A first carry for Samaje Piran. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. To throw, it's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Here's Mahomes to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 12-yard line. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. What a drive this has been. Just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. Over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now it's Mahomes again. And it's caught. And the Chiefs are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the offense as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Now here's Mahomes. He's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play.
Now Mahomes. That is caught by Rice for a Kansas City touchdown. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Chiefs will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. And what I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And that'll give us momentum going into the second half. Give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And the Niners ready to go on offense for the final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Purdy. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. So the completion good for just three, and it's second down. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. And they'll come up second and seven. Operating from the gun, Purdy. Again to the big tight end, George Kittle. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Back to throw now on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Well, this is a half where not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. Second and 10. Here's Purdy. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Back to throw, Purdy. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. And his kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Chiefs on top as we send you cross-country to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going. And well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Rasheed Rice. 
His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Butker now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-6. to Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a three-possession game. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. Connects with Kittle underneath. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. The throwing here, Purdy. That is caught, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. As you know, so many things in the passing game are based on yardage. Sometimes it's just based on timing, and that's what we saw right there on that play. Third and three, just get the ball right to the receiver. It was the hitch route. And tell us, what is the hitch route? Yeah, just take really one step, like you're driving off the line of scrimmage, get the defensive back on his heels, get the ball out to the receiver, and he does the rest. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 15 yards there on the play as they try to chip away at this 15-point deficit. And, partner, they're locked in man coverage out left, and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. McCaffrey running up the middle, and he gets it down to the 32. Six yards the pickup, and that's a first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Purdy going to give it to Garendo. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. An eight-play drive to this point, so here's play number nine on third and seven.
Purdy looking to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Got a man right side. It's McCaffrey. And the agility got him a few extra before he's taken down right at the 10. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And yeah, this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. Third and five. Back to throw. Purdy. This ball is caught. He's got Debo. And the 49ers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line. Second and goal. Operating from the gun, Purdy. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. So a little extra time to ponder this third and goal as we played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we hit the fourth and final quarter. They'll look to throw on third and goal. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the 49ers are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. So this is now a nine-point difference. You figure the book here says kick the extra point, make it a one-score game. Now, you and I have seen coaches get overly aggressive in this spot, but I agree with you. Kick it here and get back within a score. Moody good with the extra point as this gets him back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. KC's offense ready to take over. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. From the 35, here's second and a couple.
Mahomes now to throw. Got a man. It's Brown. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A gain there of 21 yards. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Mahomes gives to Hunt. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Two yards the loss, second and 12. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Over the middle here to Brown. That'll give him eight that time. And that'll bring us to a third and four. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he's got it. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, ke keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether it's the simple, guys huh? up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Uh, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. And this one is incomplete. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception, but playing this way is what got them this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. This offense so far on third down, they've been very good, five for seven thus far. This is third and seven. Now Purdy. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Purdy now to throw. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. 
Multiple defenders getting home there for a loss of 11. Well, we knew this guy wasn't especially fleet of foot, but he tried to conjure up some escapability, but there was no way he was getting away on that one. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Operating from the gun, Purdy. And he's going to go down again. Tershawn Wharton in there to drop him. It sacks on first and second downs. Now leads to a third and long. Well, this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool a defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes or their athletic ability. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. That's a good example for young receivers about how you should never give up on a play because sometimes it's right in your hands. Other times, you've got to play defense and knock it away. But at all times, follow the football. And in this case, he hauls it in for a big game. They'll look to throw now on first down. This will be caught at about the six. And a nice pick up there as he'll get about nine, and that will lead us to a stoppage here at the two-minute warning. Purdy from the gun. This is caught. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. Here's first and goal. Here's Purdy. And he's going to go down. This will count as a sack, a very short sack. Take it down at the two. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now, and if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge to stop. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one to five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one to five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah. yeah, you know. It doesn't you kinda, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> So with exactly a minute to play, here comes a critical onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand seam. And that should just about put a capper on this one. And that's why you have your hand seam out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. 
They'll try to run for the first down with Hunt. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. To throw is Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A big gain there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. What a chance they just took. A huge chance. They go for it on fourth down, wind up getting the first. Go ahead and admit it. You thought it was a bad call, didn't I you? I did, yes. I think, I, think did any, I think any normal person <laughs> did. How about him picking it up? Give them credit. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. <laughs> Mahomes down to a knee, and that should just about write a finish to this one. So it's a win for the Chiefs here, and no surprise, it was Patrick Mahomes who really led the charge. Yeah, there's no question who the star of this game was. What a performance throwing the football. Over 300 yards, four touchdown passes. That's quarterbacking at an elite level. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from Santa Clara.